Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm going to be doing Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be using the power of engineering. And we're going to have a look at 10 segregate structures. So we'll get into a new game and of course the UK Space Agency will be funding this project again. All right, so we'll be calling this spacecraft Floaty Woaty. That is spell Woaty. And the description of this craft is architects think this is magic. First off, as any space craft starts, we need the command pod. And from there, I'm not really sure the best way of doing a structure. I know in structural, there's quite a few little bits and bobs. I'm going to try using these, the modular girder segments. You can only connect them at the ends. Okay, so we'll, we'll bung one up there. And then, okay, that's a bit big for a joint. What else we got? A micro node. I'm going to imagine this one's quite small. Yes, but we might be able to use our little scale tool here. Oh, that actually looks bang on. Right then, I'm going to move this underneath. And then we're going to wang this on the side. Yeah, like that. Cool, then we'll grab some more micro nodes, scale them up. And then hopefully we can just sort of work our way around. Eh, come on game, help me out here. Do I need to rotate? Oh, there we go. Right, then we've nearly got a platform. I reckon a few more micro nodes. I'm a bit concerned though. That might not attach. We'll have to do a little test. I'm not even sure you can do this in Kerbal. I think like the way it's built, you can only like go in one direction. So this might not work at all. I can't test anything like that. I need to bung it on a bit of a stilt. Right, there you go. So it should sit on that and we'll see what happens. If this stays in one piece, we're all good. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Oh no, that's not attached. Okay, those two aren't attached. I'm pretty sure those aren't. I thought it would move more than this. I don't know what's attached and what isn't. But anyway, for now, if we assume that that's working, then what I can do, I can grab this piece, put it over here. I'm going to copy another one of those underneath. Another node under there. At there. Another node. Right, and I think that is the basis of our tensegrity structure. If you don't know what tenor secretary is, it's basically just like a way of using tension to give the illusion of like floating, floatingness. I'll explain how it works once we actually get it to work. But uh, the other thing I need to try and come up with, because I don't think they have them in this game, is how to like create a cable or a chain. Not gonna lie, not a clue what I'm gonna do. Oh, actually we could, we could. <laughs> we could go to fuel tanks. I don't know how small we can get like a fuel tank. Okay, that's, that's a bit big. I want like a really, really thin one. Oh God, that's huge. It's too big. <laughs> I never have this problem usually. So I think we can use this one as our wire because we, we know rockets are a bit bendy. So what I want to do, I want to bung this on there, but then I want to scale it down. Oh god, it's tiny. That is perfect. Okay, excellent. So grab some of them and then I can copy this to all four corners. Nice. And then hopefully I can grab that and I'm copying it, but I'm going to rotate. Yes, like that, like that. The question is, how do I attach them? I'm not entirely sure. All right, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to actually build this. Bollocks. <laughs> so what I want to do, I want to keep copying these down. So if I grab that, that's probably a good location. Okay, so I'm going to go back to structural, grab these micronodes, scale them up, then copy that to all four corners. A few minutes later. And then that one there. That's it. That's the one. I think what I might do just to make it look a bit better, I might do that and then put micronodes in the middle. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And then get rid of that one and then hopefully just one more micro node and the question is can i attach that oh that has a gap <laughs> there's a gap there's the smallest of gaps well that's annoying if i get it somewhat in the middle can i just scale that up that might attach to both i'm not sure <laughs> but let's see will this hold <laughs> not convinced i'm really not convinced please oh no oh look at these fuel tanks <laughs> Okay, so from the looks of things, it looks like most things are attached. That middle bit definitely wasn't. So what I might do, I might just be cheeky and just use some strategy on the frig me. Oh, look at them being stretched. Oh, look at that wangly one. All right, so being the pro KSP player that I am, I've now learnt it's all about strutage. We're going to have massive struts, but that's fine. So that should work, I think. Why is it strutting to there? This isn't good. It's like strutting to itself. I want to strut across that gap. Oh, why can't I do that? Don't say KSP doesn't allow you to connect to yourself. Oh, yes. Yes, it worked. There we go. All right, let's try that then. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> Ooh. Okay, I didn't quite see that in slow motion enough to see why that didn't work. It looks like the middle nodes broke though. Bollocks. So my struts may have broken. Oh, I can tell you what though. I don't think these are all connected. They're definitely not connected, are they? What I might do, I might strut like all the corners. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that. All right, I think we're just doing this the old fashioned way then. Because we're going to need a montage. Montage. Yes, yeah, so basically these nodes cannot be trusted to do their job. They're basically architects of the KSP world. And of course, it takes an engineer to come along, fix it. So it doesn't just look good, but it actually works. <laughs> right, I think we're done. That was a uh, <laughs> bit of a ball, like. But, oh, I should probably do these middle ones. Damn it, we're never done. We're never done. Right, now we're done. So we're going to see if this works. And if it doesn't, I'm then just going to strut those two nodes together. Come on, floaty woaty. Actually, of course. Floaty muck woaty. Now it will work. Bollocks. <laughs> I can, see, can you see how stretched they are? Oh my goodness. I think I've literally warped the node. Wow. On the plus side, it looks a bit like the strut ones aren't moving. That's really cool though. Look at that. Get your struts out for the lads. So you're going to strut from there up to there. And I'll do the same on this side. From there down to there. Right. Now hopefully they won't get stretched. So let's see what that does. <gasps> it's... It's working! It's actually working! Yes! Yes! It's floating! The UK Space Agency has done it again! Whoa, Britannia! Da, 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 da. Only real nationalist people know the words. That's not our that's not our national anthem, by the way. That's the UK Space Agency national anthem. Frickin' awesome! So, ten secretary, floaty McWaity. Uh, it's sort of can you see it's like it's an illusion like it looks like well it doesn't really because all the struts are added but this top piece is like floating but you can probably actually see how it does work considering it's a bit leaning but basically all these cables i'm going to call them are like they're all like working together so as this top piece like leans say this direction these ones go tight they don't allow it to move and then obviously you'd think oh well it's gonna it's gonna pull this direction but no because that's what these ones are for they're keeping it still so all these four outside cables they're just stopping the top and the bottom from moving whereas all the weight so this top platform this is being supported purely by this middle bit i think that's why i needed so many struts in here but oh i also just realized i completely forgot to do this middle segment thing down there so i'll add that in and what i want to do I don't, I might be pushing it too far, but I want to turn this into a rocket. <laughs> like fuel tanks on the top, rockets underneath, and just this in the middle. Do we think it will work? Place your bets. Right, so I quickly just added a base to this so that we can turn it into a rocket. So I'm going to grab all this and just go up a bit. So I'm intrigued to know if my ropes here, ropes, if they actually have fuel in. I assume they will. So if I come down to the bottom and pick... A mammoth liquid fuel engine. Oh my god, it's actually huge. <laughs> it is a mammoth. Uh, but I do want to make it a little bit bigger. So I sort of want it to fit that. If I scale that up, okay, I think that's actually pretty good. I'm going to guess there's nowhere near enough fuel in there. <laughs> but uh, let, let's try. Launch. The good news is it is attached. <laughs> the bad news is it's only just. <laughs> that is freaking wonky. But I do want to see if we if we launch this. Let's turn the throttle up. Oh, look, it's self-writing. Right, ready? Launch. <laughs> Wait, it says I've still got loads of fuel. Hmm, maybe we're not connected properly. Right, let's go back. Right, so I did notice this one the other day. It's an external fuel duct. So I'm thinking maybe like we can only get fuel from what's connected directly into our thing. I don't know how these work either. <laughs> okay, I think that might be connected now. So let's do that with all four corners quick. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's launch this and see if we have fuel. Okay, didn't didn't stop it leaning, unfortunately. But let's turn up the throttle and then hit launch and see what happens. Nope, same thing. <laughs> Very strange. Anyway, time for plan B. Right, so now we have a rocket with our 10 segrity structure in the middle. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure if the fuel can make it down. I 
assume it can. If not, we might have to do the yellow things like between those corners. So we'll give that a launch. And uh, oh no, 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 Whoa, that was close. We have no safety on this craft. As many of you know, I pride myself on safety as to the UK Space Agency. So we're gonna have to bung some parachutes on. I think as it's such a big structure, only a big parachute will do. Right, let's launch this. Right, here we, oh no, oh. Uh, okay, fuel might have to go on the bottom. All right, so we'll take that off. Take all that nonsense off. Put you onto that. All right, then we'll bung this fuel tank under there. Scale that up to match what's beneath. And hopefully that'll be good to go. And now the parachute even like matches. Like it looks, it looks about right. All right, so how does this one look? Oh, not too bad. It is leaning. It's leaning quite a lot actually. <laughs> We've made another rocket that launches around corners. They're trying to get closer to the UK Space Agency flag. That's what it is. Everyone wants to be near that magnificent... Whoa, Britannia. Okay, rottle up. There it goes. And launch. Yes. Um, no. Yes. Yes. Using the power of strutage, we'll keep this thing secure. So if we go to structural, the struts. All right, up the symmetry to eight. Struts on there. No, that's not going to work, actually. I'm going to have to do it manually. All right, so now I'm literally... Oh, what have I done there? What have I done there? Why is it see-through? Oh, God, I got C. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. There you go. We're just going to strut from the fuel tank up to our structure. Just so hopefully it will stop going all wonky before we have a chance to take off. All right, that should hold her on. And then I think the top, we're good. We're all good. So let's launch this bad boy. Yes. We appear to have stopped the wobble. And we now have the almighty yeah. illusion. The command pod and parachute are just hovering in midair. How are they connected? Ooh. <laughs> Magic. I don't know. Does that look impressive to people that don't really understand tensegrity? Maybe. Let me know in the comments. But for now, we shall up the throttle. Do I want to do 100 straight off? Or should I do like 50? Nah, 100. And then launch. Oh god, that was a lot of power. No, it's all crushed. It's all crushed. Uh, okay, that went quite bad. Oh no. That is a tangled mess. Can we save it? Ah, uh, no. All right, so this time, SAS on. Yes. And then throttle up. Oh, we're kind of going. The top's pulling us down. I don't know. Oh, there you go. I think if we can get the head to foot. Oh, no. All right, sod it. We'll do a loop. We'll do a loop. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Maybe there's too much power. <laughs> Definitely saved his life again. Do not worry. All right, so this time SAS will be on. I'm going to slowly ramp up the throttle and just try and be gentle. I don't want this top to go mental. I just want to be gentle. Engines are a go. Can you see those little nozzles wiggling? That means SAS is trying to, like, self-write already. <laughs> Let's slowly ramp up this throttle, so there you go, easy does it. And then we'll try and keep her upright. This top is wiggling like a mofo. There you go, get underneath, get underneath, come on. This is like bloody balancing a thing on a thing. No, we have to do a loop. Oh, bollocks. No, we're upside down. We are upside down. Shite, quick! Revert flight. I'll tell you what we're missing. We're missing bloody decouplers. And annoyingly, I've just bloody done all those to it. I wonder, can I take this off? Put a decoupler under here. I'm going to do the smallest decoupler I can, just because it's funny. Look how weenie that is. And wait for it, wait for it. All right, so there's a, <laughs> there's a decoupler in there. And we've got to try and connect this to it. Right, I literally think we are connected now. So if I add an extra stage down there, move my rocket to the bottom. So now, if anything goes wrong, we can ditch the fuel and the rocket and stuff and then we should be able to save our structure uh, but to try and make my rocket a bit more stable I'm gonna add some tail fins I did get a bit messed up with the wings last time not entirely sure what we want I'm gonna go with a canard canard is it is it one of these things where it's best to have loads do I do four or should I do eight I think I'm gonna add eight of them and hopefully slash maybe that might keep us a bit more straight Ooh, ooh, maybe it actually is. It actually is. 12 seconds later. Since I said that, we're now going completely 
Pull up. Pull up. Oh, it's going to be tight. Right, I think gentle on the old throttle again. I haven't turned SAS, SAS on. So this is all me. And I'll tell you what, I'm doing a freaking good job. Wait. Wrong way. There you go. There you go. Yeah, screw SAS, man. They don't know what they're on about. Oh, recover. 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 Oh, nice. This is actually going up. Shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. That might be too far. Oh. I tell you what. This could actually get to space. How far away are we? We're only at 4,000 meters. Shit. And we've spun. But it is. It's a bit more controlled now. I think maybe because the air's thinner. Could that possibly th be a thing? Get your ass underneath you. No, we are, we're upside down now. All right, let's go all the way around. Let's go all the way around. <laughs> the scenic route. Come on, please. Our fuel's going to run out soon. But I'm quite impressed that tensegrity is possible. And because it's civil engineering speciality... It's one of the best ways of creating a rocket. Right, I'm going to decouple. Did my... Will my miniature decoupler work? Ready? Boosh. Holy... Where did that go? Right, uh, um... Parachute. Parachute. Right, this is the beauty of Tensegrity. Once this parachute opens, you're going to be in for a treat. Oh, God. When is it going to open? Please open. Yes, it's open. <gasps> Oh, look at the illusion. It's like my parachute's floating on nothing. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I, I'm gonna, can I make Jeb like come out? Holy shit, Jeb is out. Jeb is out. Base, let go. <gasps> he fell on his back. He's being crushed by the giant parachute. You were right in there, Jeb? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. F grab. Oh shit, F, 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 F. Oh, F, literally F. Oh, um, well, that was horrible. I can't believe Jeb's gone. We, we had so many memories together. I mean, at least we planted a memorial tree and a memorial Tensegrity statue. It's what he would have wanted. And on that horrible, horrible note, guys, peace, love, and Jeb. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.